Welcome back to Ground and Pound TV here at KSW number 42. On my side, KSW owner Martin Lewandowski. Um, you had a great event so far, in my opinion, but how would you uh, summarize the event from tonight? If you would describe me this what happened uh, during this night, so I would buy the tickets one more time for this show, you know, so that's how I would describe. So it was a great event, you know, it was excellent, great fights, you know, a lot of changes during the fight, uh, uh, many surprises, uh, you know, so everything what MMA is all about. So it's not like you go and watch the fight and you know who's who's going to win, you know, they're, they're, so that's what I like in the sport, you know, very much. So, you know, those changes though, that it's not so obvious that you can be uh, 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 a great fan of the fighter who is winning for years, but one day, you know, just click and just gone, you know, so there were many, many good fights and I'm glad that those fights will bring KSW brand around. Which performance stood most out for you? Which what? Sorry. Which which performance stood um, uh, most stood out in a positive way? There were there were a couple for sure. Uh, Gamrot was uh, surely, you know, the title fight was great. Uh, it was a huge surprise for me that um, Matella lost, you know, in such a quick and fast way. But that's what's you know that's what can happen. And of course the main event, which was really really the main event of the evening. There was, you know, the emotion, the whole crowd, everybody was cheering, you know, both sides. There was no, you know, uh, of course, Mamet was the favor in the fight at the beginning, but I think that, you know, during the fight, all this, you know, emotions and, and, and they, they had cha changed, you know, and, and fans become cheering for Thomas. And this is great, you know, that, that Poles, and not only Poles, but mostly Polish fans, they, they learn to appreciate uh, uh, not only the uh, the fighter who is uh, in the top position, but also the underdog. So this is what I like, and this is that you know Polish fan um, like most. Uh, they maybe not most, but they during the fight they they are for the foreign fighter also. Not only supporting the Polish one, but also you know are for, for uh, somebody who is not speaking Polish and this is good. This is what I saw, you know, back in years in Japan that Japanese people, they really appreciate just a good hero, good fighters. And that's it. That's what should be. That's how it should be. Tomasz Nakun has defended his uh, title a couple of times, but do you think this is the fight that puts that will put his name really on the map in Europe or in the world? Definitely. Definitely. He is the first one for many years, you know, the uh, uh, he won over Mamet in really spectacular way. He was losing that fight. Uh, Mamet is a big name, so everybody who is fighting with Mamet um, straight away got got the same recognition as the the opponent he beat. I know it's an early question, but do you already have plans for the coming challenges for Tomas and for Mamet? No, not really, actually. Uh, I don't know if you are aware, but we don't have a contract with Mamet right now. We are waiting uh, for his decision. Um, so we didn't even schedule his fights for this year. We just plan, you know, this year without Mamet. Uh, of course, there will be always a spot for him, but he needs just to, to, to make his decision. And we don't want to make any pressure on him. We are just waiting, you know, what would be his future if he was going to stay with us or someone else, or maybe he's going to retire. I don't know. Everything can happen, really. Yeah, the MMA business is full of surprises, as we saw tonight. Right. Um, how would you uh, rate the performance of the fighters from Germany today? Uh, you know, like probably one lost, one, you know, win in, in a nice way, but, you know, it just. I don't have like it's just because pff, I don't know <laughs> just uh, for sure the heavyweights you know didn't went uh, the way how I wanted but it was last minute uh, 
fight and replacement. So this is what you could expect also. You know, the, 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 the fighter is not so well prepared. Um, Zavada won this fight, it was a great fight and become uh, a really cool one. Unfortunately, Euras just, you know, got really bad injured. He was actually the, the worst injured fighter this night. Um, who else? There was, I think that's it, right? Christopher Henze in the prelims, the first one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was also cool, you know. Just, you know, but the life goes on. I don't make any judgment only for one uh, over or looking only on one fight, you know. It's just always I need two or three, you know, to, to make the, the like 100% full of judgment, you know. Because sometimes just one fight doesn't give you the whole picture of the fighter, what he, he can be. Like for example, we had a, um, in the past the fighter who came and just beat, you know, won the title and the next two fights he just got knocked out very easily and it was like kind of really surprised and surprised me so just wait for sure there will be another chance and we uh, after the second fight I would be you know much wiser to answer you properly. So will the fighters from Germany get another chance at KSW? Of course, of course. I don't even see right now any any option why we shouldn't you know. Uh, uh, invite the fighters, especially that some of them wrote the history, like Zavada, some of them really give, uh, did a favor for us, so it's also something we are taking under consideration. So, uh, to uh, finish the interview, we're coming to, a little bit to the next uh, event on uh, April the 14th, 14th. 14th in, in Wroclaw. Uh, we already have a title fight with uh, Roberto Zoldic against Rikus Duplessis from South Africa. And uh, two other fighters have been announced, Michael Andrischak and Damian Janikowski, but without any opponents so far. So, what can we expect from that? Um, I know... so. I don't know, but I think you, you want to prepare Andri Schack for a title reign as the heavyweight champion in the future because he's young and he's full of potential. So can you tell us something about his opponent or what can we expect in, in uh, what kind of, of name recognition the opponent will have? First of all, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that you can you know, pronounce their names properly. You know? It's hard, you know, the, all those Polish surnames, you know. Uh, but. Um, the opponents will be good. They were, they won't be Polish opponent. They're, they're, so they both will face uh, mm, international fighter. Uh, fight with Andrzejczak will be the title fight. And so yeah, just just wait a little bit longer. Within a week, we are going to announce another two names. Actually, that was the plan that we are going to announce now. But we saw that there was so many attention on, you know, looking at this event, we didn't want to spoil it with bringing a new stuff, new names, you know. So we decided just to wait so the dust will, you know, uh, um, how to clear. clear. And then we'll announce another names. There is a lot of time to, to talk about any other fighter, any other opponent, matchmaking or whatever. So we'll have a time to you know, make any comments on everything. Last question. You talked uh, in, the, in the first question about your, the brand of KSW. Where do you see yourself right now uh, in the MMA world and where do you, uh, where do you want to get uh, in the next five years with your brand? I think that I might say that we are the biggest European promotion right now. We do the best shows uh, in the world, that's what I can say. We did uh, last May, we did the second biggest uh, show in the MMA history. Only in Pride, they, did, and they, they gathered more people. We did it for 58,000 in National Stadium here in Warsaw. Uh, here in Warsaw. <laughs> in Warsaw. Um, so. We feel okay, and we are, you know, standing really uh, strong uh, uh, on Polish market. We we have a good recognition outside of Poland too. We see how the numbers uh, uh, grows with the, um, just attention, media relation, pay-per-view sales. So all that we did uh, last year, a show in Ireland. We are going back uh, to Ireland and England for sure in the nearest future, probably the first this year, or maybe not the first, but the, the, the show we are going to do will be also uh, in uh, London Wembley. So 
maybe next year Germany. Sounds very good. We're really looking forward to it. Thank you for your time and thank you for the great right. event tonight.